XCAT requires a network domain name specification for the system-wide name resolution. In our case, we have already defined a domain name parameter using the setNV.c file, and that is HPCNet, which is obviously a clever name to describe our HPC network. Using that information, we're going to define our network domain name. But before we proceed, let's take a look at what's currently there. And we can see that we've defined the XCAT domain to be HPCNet. Listing all the parameters for the site domain. Scrolling up, we can see that it's been inserted alphabetically in the list of parameters. So now that the compute nodes in the domain are specified, we need to define the provisioning mode and the image that we're going to use for the compute group. And we'll use XCAT to complete the configuration for the DNS and DHCP network services. For our virtual lab, we're not using InfiniBand. So we can ignore that. And we'll now use the XCAT tools to manage the DNS and the DHCP. The makehosts command will make changes from the XCAT database and update the etc host file. We can see what the etc host file currently looks like. It has our SMS host, localhost IP, and its HPC net IP. When we run a simple lsdef command, It'll list all the compute nodes that we've defined in XCAT, and we can take it one step deeper. Showing us that compute 00 has IP address 10 10 10 100, and compute 01 has IP address 10 10 10 101. When we run the XCAT make hosts command, it'll take that IP address and the compute node name and add it to etc hosts. Watch the bottom left pane. We've now added the IP addresses as defined in the XCAT database with its short name and its fully qualified domain name. Now, if we were to ping compute 00, it resolves. If we were to ping compute00.hpcnet, it also resolves. Of course, the VMs are not up and running at the moment, so is the destination host unreachable. Next, we run the make networks command. You might find a similar result. For sake of completeness, we've done that. But one way of finding out if that's already in your database is to run tab edit networks. This opens up an editor so you can correct the XCAT networks table yourself. And there are the two networks as already defined. Finally, we'll run the XCAT tool make DHCP-N. But before we do that, let's have a look at what our existing file is. We'll watch that file. Going back to the top tab, make DHCP-N. It's made a significant amount of changes to the dhcp.conf file, but they've run off the screen so we can't see them all. You can ignore these warnings because we're not using hardware discovery in the virtual lab. And then the last step is to update the DNS, make DNS-N. Oh, it appears that sms-host.hpcnet might be missing from etc hosts. So we add it in. Then we run make DNS dash in. And this result is good enough. DNS setup is completed. Now that we've defined the network, the DHCP, and the DNS, we need to associate our provisioning image that we've compiled for the compute nodes, since DHCP will serve that image to the compute nodes using PXE. Node set compute group and the image we want is 
Center 7.7, .7, X86, 64, hit boot, compute. Now going to the bottom pane, if we were to run LSDF T node compute, we can do a quick check. Current state set to boot of that compute image. IP is set. We look good. Now we're ready to boot up the compute nodes.